As hard as this week has been for Sana Yasir, seeing her handmade ribbons appear all over London gives her strength. The purple um, resembles Yumna's favorite color, and then the green uh, resembles Islamophobia. We see this and it, it gives us relief that we are being supported. She was close to the family. Yumna Afzal, Madia Salman, Talat Afzal, and Salman Afzal all killed Sunday. Their young boy, Fayez, still in hospital. The man accused of attacking them remains in this London jail. He appeared in court virtually. Few pictures have emerged of Nathaniel Veltman, and police in Canada don't always release mug shots. But now these court sketches provide a glimpse of what he looks like. At the court appearance, he was practically emotionless as he spoke briefly over Zoom. It didn't look like he had a care in the world, and uh, that was very upsetting for me to watch that. As police continue their investigation at Veltman's London apartment, CBC News has been speaking with acquaintances and reviewing court documents that tell of turbulent recent years and signs of aggression. Documents from 2016 related to his parents' divorce say he was prescribed medication and told to attend counseling for obsessive compulsive disorder and depression. His mother stating he'd become so combative and argumentative, I have to lock myself in my bedroom. In his hometown of Strathroy, police say his name appears in 14 incidents from 2016 to 2020. We spoke to a friend of the suspect who says he went fishing with him on this trip just two weeks ago. He says the man has a drinking problem and in recent days lost his grandmother who was supporting him financially. London police say the accused targeted the family because they're Muslim. I can confirm that this is being actively investigated as a terrorist act by the police authorities. He's charged with four counts of first degree murder and one count of attempted murder. So, Thomas, I guess we're hearing from the suspect's family now, too, right? Yeah, the suspect's father is telling the Canadian press this was a senseless act, but uh, that's not the focus tonight. Here in London, Adrian, it is squarely on the family, uh, the funeral set for Saturday, and uh, events to uh, honor their memory tomorrow, including Friday prayers for uh, Friday prayer services set at the London uh, Muslim Mosque. Uh, they coincide with a lifting of certain COVID restrictions, meaning more people will be allowed inside to pray. And then in the evening, uh, there is an interfaith march that is being planned from the site of the attack all the way to the mosque. Adrian, it is sure to be a poignant moment. All right, Thomas, thank you.